Hello, creative friends. I am here with my good friend, Ingrid. Uh, hey, she, chickies. She has never used alcohol inks before. So um, I am excited to kind of show her the ropes, I guess, kind of guide her through opening that bottle and just going for it. What do you think, Ingrid? This is, excited? This is exciting. I, I, I have to just very quickly just for, and especially for people who are tuning in on your channel, because we're both live on each other's channels. Mm -hmm. I first bought my first alcohol inks, these two, <laughs> seven years ago, literally. And they have wow. remained shut. And then I added to them like three or four years ago. I, I filled up an entire tin, bought the tin because it was cute, and then haven't touched anything. So this is literally my first time. <laughs> I cannot believe that you've never even just dropped... You know, like it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. All right. So here we go. All right. So the first first things first is uh, like safety and like, you know, that sort of thing, because um, alcohol inks are very they have a you know strong smell and you obviously don't want to um, pass out. So working in a well ventilated area. Um, and also you can have a fan going, like blowing out the air if you're like in a smaller room. Uh, if your weather's good, have your window open, that sort of thing. Um, and also one other thing, you never want to spray, if you're using blending solution, spray blending solution because it has resin in it and you don't want those um, thing, the particles in the air. Okay. And um protect your surface so if you have you know if you're working on your desk you don't want to work directly on your desk you want um like a glass mat or something underneath so that you don't stain your desk well that's something. good because my glass mat i love um yes will it stain well okay so you said it won't stain the glass mat but what if i want to clean it up how do you clean it up just regular, I just use regular isopropyl alcohol to clean okay. it up in like a paper towel or something. Yeah. And Tiffany was very specific that I needed 91% and higher. Or higher. Yep. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. I think I'm all set, ready to go. I've got them in little, um, little bottles here. Okay. Uh, so I just wanted to say that what I say and how I do things is the way that I work. Obviously, there is many ways that you can use alcohol inks and many surfaces and all of that sort of thing. Um, but the things that I use, this is what I use. Um, and of course, you you know want to try and find things that work for you. Um, uh, so I like to use uh, graphics craft plastic. Or uh, UFO paper is good, but the craft plastic is a little bit cheaper. And um, so it comes in 25 sheets, 12 by 12. Uh, UFO paper doesn't really matter. The brand is a little expensive. Um, Legion and Ranger and all of that sort of thing. So if you're just starting out, I highly recommend maybe something a little bit cheaper. And I do actually have a download, um, a PDF, a free PDF. It's linked in the description with a ton of information, um, like supplies and color combinations and all of that sort of thing. And so, I have that linked in my description as well for anybody, for sure. Oh, awesome. Awesome. But but if you if you go and you, you go over to get the PDF, make sure you come back. Yes. Yeah. Don't leave yet. <laughs> um, so we have our paper. So it's synthetic paper. It's it's plastic. So, you know, any type of yeah. synthetic paper. Yeah. It feels, um, they both then, feel kind of the same, I have to say, yeah. but, um, but they definitely feel yeah. different from other regular paper. Yeah. Yeah. Because then, then the alcohol ink is just going to sit on top. Um, cause if you, you can't just use regular cardstock and again, we're doing this from a very beginner, she's never used this. So there probably is many of you out there that are in the same boat that have never used it. So we're doing very beginner steps here. So you don't want to use it on regular cardstock. It's just going to seep through and you're not going to be able to move the ink around. Um, isopropyl alcohol, she said 91% or higher. Um, you can use this with the um, regular alcohol inks. 
Um, you can use it with um, uh, the mixatives and things like that, but we're not going to get all into all of that. We're just starting off with just the, the basics here. And maybe some little bottles if you want a little bit more control of your, um, your isopropyl alcohol when you're putting it down. And then as for colors, Ingrid asked me what colors to get. I think it, it just depends on what you are drawn to, what colors you know you like, because mine are probably different than somebody else. Um, and if you're new to them, like if you, you do a lot of ink blending or sprays, think about the colors that you use most often. And then, um, then that way you can kind of get an idea of what colors to get. So I typically use the same, like maybe three color combinations with alcohol inks. So, yeah. Cool. And now, I have to say, I'm going to I'm gonna interrupt yep. you there for a second, because yep. color was a big deal for me. I wasn't really sure where to start as somebody who's completely brand new. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, it's actually stressful when I don't have choices. So I ended up buying like several different shades, and I ended up buying, I think, too many, but because now I have too many shades. <laughs> so do you have, I have like, now I have like 40, I've never done this and I have like 40 bottles because I've been collecting, I've been literally hoarding these for years. So <laughs> do you have like a sweet spot of like a good number maybe that you can recommend to somebody who's just starting out that's never done this that wants to dive in? So I typically use three colors, maybe four, if I'm getting a little on the crazy side. <laughs> I like to play it safe. So maybe between like six and 10, maybe colors. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. All right. But I mean, if you if you really just want, you know, three three to start with probably is like the best, but it's hard just to, just to get three colors because then they all look nice and you just want them all so <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of people and a lot of people over here saying i'm the same i want them all yeah. i want all the colors yes. <laughs> yes oh we've got i've got some let's see yeah these are just my regular alcohol ink so yep yeah all right are you are you ready i'm ready, are you ready? i'm all ready right. let's do this all right so I'm a little scared not gonna lie <laughs> i'm just gonna do just a little bit a little scared okay. Don't be, don't be scared. Okay, you have your isopropyl alcohol in your little bottle. Uh -huh. okay. okay. All right, keep that next to you. We're going to start with the blower, like the little blower okay. tool. Yeah. I personally, you can use a straw. I personally don't like to do that method because it just makes me lightheaded and then I don't want to create anymore. So get ah, yourself a little blower. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So can I ask one other uh -huh. question? We're starting yep. with like a 12 by 12 sheet of paper because I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm literally following what she's doing right now. It'll be interesting because we're going to use similar colors to see how these turn out at the end. But um, why, for those people who make cards, um, mm -hmm. why would you want to start with a bigger piece over a smaller piece? Or does it matter? Um, It's it's preference. So for me, the smaller pieces, like if I were to work just on a regular, you know, four and a quarter by five and a half piece of paper, it's mm -hmm. harder for me because I personally like uh, white space. So what I like to do is I like to work on the bottom on like this and then leave basically the middle white and then I'll work separately on the top. So then I can make you know, six cards. With oh, okay. That. With, right. And it also will have the white space. So cool. I hope that that makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. 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 Cool. All right. I think I'm... we might actually, you have a smaller piece. Uh, I do. Hang on. Yeah. Let's start just your, your first initial. Okay. Color down. We're going to use a smaller piece. I think would probably be easier. Got it. Yep. All right. So I'm going to start off with monsoon. So we're going to open it up. I almost feel guilty that I'm not opening the very first color that I ever bought. <laughs> oh, no. Which color was it? Uh, it was, you know what? They're so old that they aren't labeled in color. 
Um, it just has the color on it. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I like to work kind of on the, like, you can't really see. Because we're working like on the that. edge? Yeah. A little bit on the edge. Because again, the white space, I think is going to, you know, we might not end up using this, but it might turn okay. into amazing. So, all right. So maybe one or two drops of the alcohol ink. Oh, good Lord. There it goes. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to take the little bottle of isopropyl alcohol. Okay. And what I like to do is I like to add it where I want the color to go. So in this case, I'm going to add it just around the edge where the white space is. Does that make sense? So right here, if you can see that. On the outside. Okay. Yeah. Outside. Gotcha. Oh, look at that. We're gonna, yep. Then it's gonna move, it's gonna kind of move quickly, but then we're gonna take our blower tool mm -hmm. and move that ink. We're into the blending solutions? Into the isopropyl alcohol. Me. Oh, gotcha. Yep. You might have not yes. added enough. Did you add enough? Probably it not. It looks like it might not. It's probably be. drying. Yeah, I think because I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, I know. And we're we're gonna do slow. No, um, it's yeah, and you can nice. always add more if you want. Like a flower. You know, we're just gonna, yeah. Very cool. So depending on if you want like that, you're gonna push harder on the the tool. But if you want more of a wispy look, you're gonna add more um, isopropyl alcohol. And then you're gonna do little, little, little squirts, just barely, just like. This. Okay, say that. Say that again. So do I? I don't add any more ink. I'm just always adding isopropyl alcohol, which you love saying. Yes, I love saying isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna add a little bit of, um, a little bit more iso. Is that better? Iso. Mm -hmm. Isopropyl alcohol. And then if you wanted a, you know, you want. A little bit wispy look you're going to just barely tap the blower tool so just barely and then if you want more ink coming out then you're going to go back the other way and push the isopropyl alcohol back into the ink and then back out can i add more ink to mine because i feel like i oh yeah oh yeah okay all right now i splattered mine mm -hmm. I don't know why that happened, but you probably pushed, you probably pumped the blower tool too much, maybe. Here, I'm going to. This is hard because we're doing this live. She's like really <laughs> small on my screen. So it's like I can barely see what she's doing. <laughs> All right. I'm going to switch cameras so that you guys can see it from the side. And then maybe that will help with. I don't know how the alcohol right. ink moves. All right. Here we go. That one. And then we got this one. I think I have to turn this fan off. I think this fan is also drying. Okay. So as a first timer, mm -hmm. What is like some things, some common mistakes? Because I feel like I'm making some mistakes right you now. There's, so I don't think that there's any mistakes. I think that it's just kind of learning how the ink moves because it is definitely different than any other medium because you kind of have to work fast and it's very reactive to um, like if you were to put another color here, it's going to react like instantly. So, mm -hmm. um, I think this is your first time. So just kind of, you know, we can move to the other corner and, and try it again if you want. Unless so you want to keep going on add, that same one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I just, I'm going to add some isopropyl alcohol to the actual project. Yep. I just kind of watch and see what happens here. Mine's like dry. And you know what? You're in, you're, where are you? You're in Nevada, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'm in North Carolina. So very different weather too. Yeah. Yeah. Very dry here. 
this is kind of fun. It's like little cells at play. Mm -hmm. Could I maybe not be adding enough stuff or am I adding? And it's funny because it's like, for me, it's like, I feel like I'm doing something wrong, but I, I don't think there is anything wrong. No, I think it's because you could, you, I think if you want more of, of, uh, I call it like a wispy look, you want to add more isopropyl alcohol. So maybe okay. you want more isopropyl alcohol. And then just add it to the edge because then you can still get that dark area. If that, because I like that too. I like darker and more wispy look, kind of fade it out. It's kind of fun. Yeah. And I always like to go, like, I like to move the um, isopropyl alcohol out and then back in because that's going to give you the best, like, wispy, faded out look. And what I like, I'm going to actually now change my camera back so I can show. Okay. Because I haven't been moving it back in. I've just been going out. There we go. So what I like to do is I'm going to make you bigger. It's 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 a little weird because like if I were to be by myself, I would be or like not on screen. My arm would be all the way out here. Like so it's hard. Well, I guess I could. Yep. Yeah. So you could see like my. So I'm like going back and forth. I wish there was a super zoomed out of like my, like, so you guys mm -hmm. can see my, my crazy arm movement going on here. <laughs> and then what I like to also do is kind of flick it while I'm uh, pushing the blower. If that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to add some to the outside now. I kind of like looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. Is kinda, I just like watching it kind of just do its thing. Its thing, yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to blow it to the end here. Yep. I think I kind of get what you're saying. I think I'm not adding like enough because it's like I'm just doing one drop at a time. Oh, I'm sorry. So what I like to do is I actually like to add it in a line. Mm, okay. So like all along the edge of um, the, the color. It's funny because I think that when you do stuff for the first time, you're like so hesitant. Because I'm noticing that I'm like really hesitant. And I know that there's no right and no wrong here. Um, but I think that's just natural. You know, it's like I, it's like I, I'm afraid I'm going to break it in some way, right? <laughs> you know, and when we're, when we're, we kinda, when we're, oh yeah, let's, let me do that too. Um, when we're done, I can show you a really easy way to, if you kind of have a, a background that you're like, eh, I don't know, we're going to add some more textures and fun things to it to kind of, cool. Yeah. So I have yeah. a question because like as yep. somebody who's totally new to this right now, mm -hmm. I'm really digging what's going. I don't know if you can see mine, but I'm oops. Yeah. I touched it. I'm really digging what's going on there with that line. Mm -hmm. that, it's really funny because I'm not a hard line person, but I'm loving mm -hmm. that. Yeah. I can't stand what's going on over here. Okay. The white space. But yeah, it's like all dirty. I look at it like kind of like, you know, how snow when it gets dirty, that mm -hmm. kind of feeling. But so my question is, I can cover that all up at some point, right? Yep. Or okay. you can actually take a paper towel or like a, um, a um, not a cloth, like a shop a cotton a shop ball, cloth. Uh, oh. and and with okay. isopropyl alcohol, and you can take off any that you don't that you don't want. I think that's why you like that's why you like the the graphics paper, right? 
Yes, because this oh, paper. Yeah. This yeah, this paper okay. you can get completely white again. But you said that it's, you can't really do that with some other papers. Um, with Yupo paper, the Ranger brand, I find that some of the alcohol ink stain it, so you are, you won't be able to get it white again, completely mm -hmm. white. This is kind of fun. All right, so I'm going to add a little tiny bit more ink, and then. I've never actually done this like so slow, so I'm doing something kind of funky with mine. <laughs> like I've never forcing, like forcing, forcing you out of your comfort zone. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, you know, I did want to say some people like to use gloves. So if you don't want ink on your hands, you can use gloves. But I, I don't I don't my ink, if I have inky fingers, it actually makes me happy. So that's just me. Some people might not want the chemicals on their skin, you know, or. or so what's actually them. happening? What's actually happening when the isopropyl alcohol reacts with the pit, with the ink? Do you know that? Mm, I do not. Technically. Does anybody in the, in the chat know? <laughs> Where's our scientist? Yeah. Oh, Laura's in my chat. Come on. <laughs> yes. Come on, Laura. <laughs> She's our resident scientist. Yeah. All right. I'm going to move to a different one because I'm going to set that aside. I'm kind of liking this. This is pretty, this is pretty cool. I could see me, I can see myself getting into this. Yeah. Once I stop being so hesitant. It's, re it's really relaxing. And I like to use this tool, the hair, the hair dryer, but because yeah, I, I think it's, I think it's important to kind of get a feel um, in a slower pace of how the ink moves around, this tool is really a good one to, to have. So where am I? This is really right. cool. I like the way that looks. All right. You can always add another color. Are you? I was just going to ask. Color <laughs> I'm like ready. I think I'm ready. <laughs> Although it would be kind of fun to have it be all monochromatic. I think yours looks amazing, just blue, to be honest. Maybe we can add some gold splatters or something to it. Yeah, fun. I'm not liking this this part out here, but let's see here. What if I added a different shade of blue? Ooh. Okay. All right, I'm going to see if there's any questions in the chat, maybe. If anybody has any questions. I got a lot of people, ask, or not a lot of people, I have a couple questions on paper uh -huh. over here on using glossy cardstock. Mm -hmm. um, have you tried this with glossy cardstock before? Uh, I tried with uh, a lot of people use like photo paper. I didn't really care for it because I feel like the photo paper has some sort of like stickiness to it in a way. It's hard to, I've only tried it once and I didn't really care for it. So I'm, I haven't tried, you know, everything. So it's kind of hard to, <laughs> to say. Yeah, I, I, I would consider maybe photo paper more of like a glossy cardstock right in a way yeah it's an inexpensive glossy cardstock i think yeah. inexpensive solutions i use when i use uh heavyweight gl glossy cardstock so like 10 or 12 point i use chrome coat like when i do oh, okay. scenic scenic scenes like with, with my stampscape stamps and mm -hmm. uh, i usually get that at uh marco's paper supply in ohio i order i've been ordering from them for years and it's like a much heavier, heavy weight card stock than, say, hmm. photo paper. I might have to try it. I like am getting, I'm like really liking some certain sections and it's like I don't want to mess them up. Yeah. If you like it, leave it. Cause, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, it, you can mess it up very fast because this reacts like instantly. And I've done that many times where I'm like, oh, I'm just going to add a little bit more. And then, yeah, 
then it's kind of done for All because right. it moves it moves so fast. I'm just checking to see if there's any questions. Uh, so Tiffany, you are placing the ISO above the drop of ink and blow it in that direction. Yes. That's how I like to work. So I like to put it near it. So instead of, um, here, I'll show you. So if I were to go like this on top, it's just going to react to, and I, I liked that. So I, you know, if I were to be doing this for an actual background, I wouldn't want to do that. So adding it to a, the outer edge, then I can have more control of blowing it where I want it. And then it, then I have more control of what it reacts to. I mean, obviously not full control because it's liquid. It's going to kind of do its own thing as well, but then you have more control. I hope that helps Terry. That made sense. I think that yeah. what I'm finding myself, like I find certain spaces that I don't like so that I'm adding, I'm adding a little like a drop of ISO. Mm -hmm. I just yeah. keep calling it ISO. I know you said isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol is what I always hear <laughs> Tiffany say in her lives. <laughs> but then adding that drop gives me an opportunity to clean that space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be very interesting to see how I do a year from now. I'm going to probably look back at this and have to do a reacts video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how tentative I'm being. It's hysterical to me. So Sorry, I keep, somebody... I keep flipping my paper around. No, that, that's actually the best way to do it because you don't okay. always want to work in the same direction because then, you know, you're not going to get the movement I think that you want. Also, I got a cake spinner. I haven't tried it out yet. Oh, but that's a good idea. Yeah, to like maybe tape on, tape the back. I don't know how we would, how it would work, but yeah, just like a, like a lazy moving. Susan. A lazy Susan, Susan's yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Not you, not to be confused with you, Susan. I know you're in the <laughs> chat. <laughs> um, Ingrid, I think her, I think I'm reading the name right. Beth, maybe I, it's hard for me to see that far, mm -hmm. but I can read the, what she said. With the K? I think, um, yeah. No, Beth, B-E-T-H, I think. Yep. They said, I've been following Ingrid for years and never realized she has never used alcohol inks. <laughs> True story. true story. I've had them. I just never used them. <laughs> yeah. I hoarded them. So I'm literally uh, blowing the dust off them. So Cindy asks, what paper are you using? I'm using the graphics craft plastic. Me too. Yeah. See, I like yours. You have better control and more with the puffer tool. I don't get those results with the puffer tool. So Really? I think, fine. yeah, like I can't get, I love yours. Mine's kind of, I think I'm playing with mine too much. <laughs> trying to show you how to, like the different angles. Oh, you know what it was too, is I added the isopropyl alcohol in the center too, so. Mm. See, I have a big puddle of isopropyl alcohol here, which is bothering me a little bit. And of course I messed up the space that I loved and I'm like wanting to get it back. Um, yeah. Let's see. Okay, so Huffy Huffy Prepper is telling me that she thinks I'm not adding enough alcohol before mm -hmm. the puffing tool. So how would I fix that? Okay, oh, so yep. <laughs> then so you want to add the isopropyl alcohol to that dot if you want to blend it out or unless you, you like, like over that dark. here. Mhm. Mm yeah. And then blow it up. Yep. I just love watching it react though. It is cool. And then so yeah. take so spin your paper back around and blow the isopropyl alcohol into that puddle of ink. Yep. Okay. And it's drying so fast. So, yeah, it does. So yeah. what I what I am trying to do, it's funny because I of course I watch alcohol ink videos like anybody else. Um, and I just love looking at these bubbles. Sorry, I needed to do I felt the need to do that. <laughs> um, and I watched some flower videos, which had like the really big they were creating these big petals, which were just so pretty. I wish I could remember her name. But um, 
but I don't like the fringe of that. It's like, I want a cleaner look. So I think I just need to just let it flow. I think now that you've done the initial starting, I think mm -hmm. you might find yourself wanting to play with it a little bit more and experimenting yeah. and not being so, um, what'd you call it earlier? Hesitant? Tentative. Tentative. Yeah. yeah. And then of course, the more, the more you play with them, the more you're going, because I can try to explain all I want, but I think when you actually do it and mm -hmm. see how they react and see how you like it and, you know, figure out what works for you. Um, Cause the, this blower tool isn't my favorite. Like I'll use it for little things, but for mm -hmm. like when I'm actually doing it, then I like to use the, the hairdryer. So well, why don't we try that? Yep. You want to? Yeah. I actually introduced mushroom. So that's what mushroom looks like with monsoon, by the way. Oh, I was just going to put my color on myself. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. So there's, um, is, I forgot to tell you, do you have your little dial to 125 on the back? I do. Of your, okay. I yeah. do. Yes. Yeah. And then it's there's two settings. Years. I only use it on low. So, okay. Yeah. So when you're clicking it, when you're clicking it over, just make sure that it's just not, um, you're not, or else you're going to blow that ink everywhere. Okay. okay. So let me give you a little tip here. I'm going to add a little bit more line here. I jumped the gun a little. <laughs> no, you're good. Well, you added the color, so you need to, to kind of, so in this case, I'll add it around in a circle around my ink. And okay. then instead of going like this, what I like to do is hold it straight on top and move it like this. I'm trying to make sure that everybody can see me here. Okay. So yeah. you're moving it from above. Yes, above and from the side, if that makes sense. So I'm not directly above the ink. I'm moving it from the side. Okay. All right. Here we go. Sense. And then it I does. like to have my isopropyl alcohol bottle in my hand because it goes so fast that you need to kind of work fast. And of course, that will. Okay. Wanna... Oh, I'm not doing this right. Yep. So work like from the side, from the top, if that makes sense. Let me switch um, angles and then maybe that will help. Yeah. Just a tad bit. Cause I'm ruining the part that I liked. Oh no. I know. Maybe we should have started a new one. I know that's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Right. People We're just playing. We're just playing. It's all, yeah, it's all good. Oh, that's like super bright. Yeah. Okay. So let me, I think this piece of paper is driving me crazy a little bit. I'm going to do it right on my glass mat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That makes right. me happy. I might actually do the same. <laughs> I need the because... contrast between the black and the white. Because <laughs> <laughs> this white, I think it's too bright. No, nope. I think it's just my light it's, glare. Um, so. Kathleen is asking, it's a con air. It's actually like a curling brush. So it comes with like two brushes that have the little curly thing. Like I can tell I'm just so not a girl. I'm like a tomboy. Um, <laughs> I don't curl my hair. Um, and it's like 13 bucks. I have it linked in the description as I'm sure Tiffany does too. Yep. You know what I do like though, Tiffany, is the uh -huh. fact that I realize I don't need to stress about it drying. I can come back yeah. and add the ISO after and just reactivate everything. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, hold on one sec. I'm trying to find my live so that I can find the... <laughs> so I can see the comments Thanks. easier. All right, there Thanks, we go. Thanks, function of light. <laughs> I actually, she's telling me that I may not, I may not like it, but she likes it. She thinks it's beautiful. I actually think it's kind of cool. It's kind of like a big blue crab right now. No, it is. It, 
It looks really cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the glare is just the glare, unfortunately. But I think, um, all right. So we're going to work from the side here. I'm going to add a little bit more of the mushroom. I'm going to add a little bit here. Oh, now I'm going to have that mushroom. Because I'm and like then, itching to add brown. Yeah. And then I'm going to add it to this to the outer edge. And then I'm going to, eh, it's getting caught on my bracelet. Then I'm going to work. See how that's new. I hope you guys can see that. So I'm working not directly. I'm not putting the dryer directly on top of the ink because then you're just going to, I did that to show you guys. And then I just, just kind of splurged it out. So you could see where um, right here, I put the dryer directly on top and it just kind of spread it all out where I, I didn't want that. I hope that that's making me. sense and helping. Yes, yeah. that actually happened to me. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I stopped. <laughs> yeah. So you want to work from the side. So, okay. so just one side. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, I put the ice pop off all here and I'm moving it this way. So I'm I'm then, I'm gonna blow the isopropyl alcohol into my color is what you're saying. Yes. Okay. But don't put the blower directly on top of the color. Okay. Move yeah, work from the side and don't angle it too much because then you're gonna get weird lines like I just did here. I gotcha. Yep. I think I got this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, right, I'm gonna put it back. I think I like the blower better. Yeah, I I use the blower a lot, way more. <laughs> oh, but see, I'm not adding more ISO, so, okay. It's like a lot to remember when you're brand new. Mm -hmm. I love this green that it's creating. Okay, so I'm gonna try to create a hard line right there, greenish brown, kind of. And another color that looks good is moss with this. Yours almost looks yellow in my on my screen. Well, it it should be. It's Dijon. <laughs> Oh, I thought you said you were adding, I'm sorry. I thought you said you were adding mushroom. I'm like, that's uh, No, I, I opted, I, I have it open. I just kind of uh, changed my mind. Oh, okay. So if that's I were to funny. add a mushroom to the middle of that, and then let's add some isopropyl alcohol. I'm just now experimenting. Now I am like going for it. I'm going to try new things and see what happens. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. Any questions yeah. as we're, I'm actually going to move to another piece. Ooh, that created a really pretty green. So I have Dijon monsoon and some mushroom and it created this like really, really pretty evergreen. Ooh. Yeah. Tiffany, have you ever used canned air? No. Huffy Paper says that she has, and she says that she loves the control she has with it. Is that kind of like airbrushing? Ooh, pro yeah, probably. A lot of people use the airbrush. I just don't want to invest. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, see, and that's it, though. It's all see, and that's the thing is, you know, it's at some point it becomes like investing in it. So I chose mm -hmm. to invest in the alcohol inks. So this is just my first time, people. We will be doing this again. <laughs> no, it looks amazing. I, yeah, I re really love it. Yeah, I'm I really love loving the colors. Too. Yeah, mm -hmm. what's going gonna, on here? I'm going to copy you. So I think I'm, I'm, what, uh -huh, go, go ahead. ahead. No, I was just going to say I'm a little reserved when it comes to color. I find a color combination that I like and stick with it. <laughs> yeah. I I am really like 
it's like I like this the white that it introduces, but then it's like too much white. So there has to be some sort of a I don't know. You have to be. I'm gonna learn the blending part of it. That's the part that I think is kind of frustrating me. Mm. See, this is proof that I can't do everything right from the beginning. <laughs> Anybody else feel like that? I think this is also a testament to like, because I think people are afraid to just start where they don't know what the end result is going to be. Yes. And and they're scared of messing up, you know, of course the waste, you know, we never want to just, you know, waste product, but sometimes just sitting down and playing, you know, is, is really helpful for the creative process and our, you know, of course, mental state and all of that sort of thing. So, um, I agree. And I feel like yeah. there's some sort of, it's almost like relaxing to just, yeah blow blow this around and it's like it's like i i really love certain parts of it and i don't want to mess them up but then when i mess them up it's okay yeah yeah <laughs> it's all right i really love this green that happened because i haven't added moss yet okay so i'm seeing the value of adding a neutral you guys all know me mm -hmm. i can't not do neutral colors So what about using an embossing tool versus like the hair dryer? Oh yes, that's a good question. So an embossing tool is gonna get too hot. Um, one, it'll melt the paper. <laughs> so mm. you don't want melted paper. Although the craft plastic has a little bit, like a tiny bit better, um, you can heat it up just a tiny bit more. Um, uh, also, the hair dryer has a little bit more of a open radius to kind of move that um, uh, ink around. I think the heat is the main thing is you don't want to have melted paper and it dries the the um, the ink too fast. I mm. also first started I tried once and it was horrendous to work with was a, a, like a big hair dryer. It is not, let me see if I have one right here. So you could see if you have a big hair dryer, how this could kind of be troublesome trying to work with it. So having a little one, I think is the, is the way to go. And this was, I think 12 bucks or something on Amazon. Um, I think Somebody even said that they found it one cheaper at Target. So I don't know how much cheaper you can get. Maybe it was 10 bucks, you know, but every dollar counts. So <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's like a, I don't remember how much the alcohol inks were, but they weren't that expensive. No, they used to be cheaper, of course, but I think, and you can also Everything get, cheaper. yeah, you can also get bigger bottles as well. So mm -hmm. if of certain colors, I should say. I am finding it hard explaining and working at the same time. Sorry. I normally like, no, 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 it's, no, you're good. <laughs> I'm just not coming. I'm, I think it's my own thing. Like, I don't like how this is looking. So yeah. Well, but if you see okay, me I, doing something that I shouldn't be doing, make sure you let me know. <laughs> no, I think you're, oh, that looks amazing, Ingrid. So like what happens like when you get these like really white spots, what do you recommend to like, what would be a fix for that? For me, uh, I wouldn't think that it needs a, needs a fix because I love white space. Um, so like, I think for me, uh -huh. I agree with you, but I think for me is this is like so organic and this is like mm -hmm. a little too perfect mm. you know maybe maybe if i do that would you recommend introducing more ink at that point yeah just a little yeah i would just a little bit and then minimal 
isopropyl alcohol or blending solution because that's what's going to make it, you know, blend and everything together. Okay. Tenderly Made says, check eBay for the Conair brush. You can make offers with some sellers. Interesting. And I think I saw earlier she works for Conair, I think is what she said. Oh. Interesting. Let's say, do a bunch of ceramic tiles and put pork <laughs> on, cork, oh, pork. Am I getting hungry or what? <laughs> Talking about pork. <laughs> I don't even really eat a lot of pork, but all right. <sighs> Thanks, Beth. I saw your comment. <laughs> she's giving me, she's giving me encouragement. <laughs> no, it looks amazing. And I think when you like it, when you're like, okay, yeah. that's good. Then it's yeah. Because I messed it up and now, now I'm upset that I messed it up, but. Oh no. That's okay. I need to get a drink of water real quick. So, so what's the difference question? between using this and using blending solution? Sorry. That was probably really oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. What's the difference um, between using blending solution and isopropyl alcohol? So blending solution has like a little resin in it and you have like a little bit, barely like any, like it's smidge more playing time I feel. Mm -hmm. I don't see like a tremendous um, difference between the two. Um, I don't do like, you know, artwork or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, so, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, isopropyl alcohol is cheaper. Uh, and gotcha. the, yeah, the cost between the two just doesn't, it's not... It doesn't, the blending solution isn't, doesn't make that much of a difference for me to spend. Does that make sense? Like, yes, to spend the, I understand. The, the, mm -hmm. Yeah, the money on blending solution because I'm doing it so much versus isopropyl alcohol is just kind of, you know. So Terry Carmen, says, Carm oh, sorry, go ahead. I have a question too. No, I, Oh, no, she was just stating that the Conair, Terry says, the Conair tool, the Conair is the best tool to be discovered and shared. Thank you, Terry. And um, let's see here. Uh, Carmen had asked how we're going to use these pieces. Ooh. That's a great question. <laughs> there is lots of things that you can do with you know, the backgrounds and the alcohol ink background. I typically make cards with them. I think Ingrid had um, expressed maybe she wants to do some coasters, some more yeah. art, art things with them. So, yeah. I love making coasters with my gel prints. They are have become like my favorite things around the house. It's so fun to be sitting in the living room and having a piece of your artwork that you're putting a glass on. So I was thinking it'd be kind of cool to have that. I got to look into heat and all that kind of stuff. Although I don't usually put hot stuff on top of them, but yeah. I might have to actually use resin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I actually did a piece here so in 2020, I went to Creativation and Tim Holtz had um, an art piece. It was framed and it was more, of course, like browns and his color palette. Um, mm -hmm. But he had done like alcohol lifting, stamping, like all sorts of splatters and just different things. And it really inspired oh, nice. me. So I made this. Um, That's beautiful. I love that. Yeah. And I, it's just on a wood panel. I think I got it at Blick Arts. Um, so there's lots of, it, it's on Yupo paper, but I sealed it onto the, the wood block. And then of course you can frame it if you want, hang it, you know? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. Mine is turning into nothing. Yours looks amazing. So <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how we all, we all, Tiffany's always very hard on herself. Everybody in the chat, tell her she's, she's, hers looks amazing too. <laughs> she's, 
She's like always <laughs> way too hard on herself. <laughs> no, I'm like really, I was just trying to like, sh- you know, sh- show more than like, yeah. like if that makes sense, like more worried about showing and mm-hmm. teaching than, yeah. So yes. I guess I'm not, I'm not a multitasker in that way. <laughs> I'm not either. So yours looks amazing to me. So I think, I think this would be good maybe to, I think I am going to move on to a different piece uh, with you. um, Cause I know, and what I would love for you to teach me how Uh to, I'm going to grab, should I grab a big piece or a small piece? Um, a big piece, probably. I'm going to work on a 12 by 12. I think I'm going to. Okay. Um, I would love to, uh, okay, by the way, I love this. This looks yeah. way cool. <laughs> way it cool. looks amazing, by the way. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself. Yes. I'm <laughs> really proud of myself. So I would love um, to just explore something different, like maybe play also with uh, colors. Also, I have mixatives. I have alloys. I don't know what to do with any of this stuff, so. Okay. Um, yeah. So there, are there two, are, are both sides the same on this paper? Um, one like does have a, li- one does have a little bit more, uh, like a smoother feel, Smoothness, but I, yeah. yeah, I never really pay attention to the, the difference really. So like I, I, I've worked on both sides and I haven't really noticed that much of a difference. Cool. All yeah. right. All right. You wanted to use different colors or like the same colors? Yeah, whatever you want. I don't care. I may just grab some colors. We'll see how it goes. Okay. How's that? All right. How about I'm how about with... anybody in my chat? Just throw out some names of some colors, and if I have them, I'll grab them. Yeah. What are some of your favorite colors? Color combinations. Me personally, or in the chat? Sorry. Oh yeah. Nobody's given me a name of a color. You can just name basic color. <laughs> They're gonna say pink, purple. <laughs> Keep red. in mind I like neutrals. <laughs> but I have <laughs> I have pinks and purples and everything, and I'm not opposed to using pink. It's not an ingrid yeah. color, but red and purple are the first two. <laughs> All right. Should I use okay. the one of the oldest ones that I have? Current is one of the oldest colors that I have. Ooh. <laughs> that was one of the very first colors I bought. So let's see how good they are seven years later. <laughs> okay. For, well, first we're going to add isopropyl alcohol. So I'm going to teach you a different way to do this. Because again, I, I think this is where I think people get maybe tripped up a little bit where okay. one, like somebody shows one way and that might not work for them. So then they give up. There is so many different ways. You just kind of have to find your groove and figure it out and, you know, go from there. So I like to do it this way um, when I'm working on a bigger piece. So, and I also like to work on a, like a 12 by 12 so that I can work on the bottom half. Well, bottom fourth, I should say. And then I'll go on the opposite side and work on this because then I can make six cards with it. And then I also have that white space that I, that I really love. Love it. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to take the isopropyl alcohol. Okay. I've got current and Dijon to start with. Okay. I'm going to work with the same colors because, or else I'll be there for days trying to look for colors because I didn't pull any That's others fine. out. <laughs> All right. So we're going to make um, probably a little bit larger than a quarter size uh, circle with the isopropyl alcohol, like a good amount. In the very corner. Okay. Yeah. I like to start in the corner and then kind of work my way. Got it. Yep. Do I start with the li- what particular kind of color? Does it matter? Darker, uh, lighter? Yeah. Whatever, okay. whatever color you want more of, I would start with. Yeah. And I'm going to start with monsoon, just kind of a couple drops there. And then I'm going to take my tool, my hair dryer, and then blow it out. Oops. Yep. Ooh. 
Ooh, the proof on that one. I worked too slow. Okay. There we go. We're just going to move the ink around. And then if you get like weird little lines that you don't like, I don't like this line, you can just go uh -huh. back in with isopropyl alcohol. And again, I don't put it directly on to the color. I put it around the color because then I can move the isopropyl alcohol into the color. And then I have a little bit more control. And then you can kind of fade that out a little bit. It's hard because I can't hear you over. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you don't have to follow those. I'll use my, um, the, this tool, but then I'm not going to look very much. <laughs> Yeah, all right. So I don't if I if I'm seeing that I'm not getting the result, I'm just gonna move on and then sure. come back to it to it later. So that little spot where I kind of because then I can go okay. in with a paper towel or something and kind of wipe that up. But I'm not gonna worry about that right this second. So then I'm gonna add this. Another little line. Oops. I'm gonna move that paper around. And I'm going to add a little bit of Dijon. Oh, asking, I'm wondering if during winter, what ventilation is sufficient? If you can't open a window, a fan, a mask, refrigerator, or a combo of one or the other. So um, typically you want to work where it, you know, if you're in a well ventilated area, but you can always have a fan going. Um, it, it also depends on how sensitive you are to smells and things like that. I just work and then I've never, you know, felt like I was going to pass out or anything from it. Um, but I do normally have my door open and um, so the air can kind of go out that way, have a fan pointing out. So it's bringing that, that air throughout the house rather than just staying in my room. I hope that helps. So that color I just added was Dijon. I love the green that it that that it makes with the monsoon. Questions? Let me look. This is going to be interesting. All right, I'm going to turn mine over and start. Ooh, because all right I got like a burnt orange here by adding Dijon and current together which is interesting So I have somebody asking about 
alloys and working with isopropyl alcohol. Mm -hmm. Do those have to be used with the blending solution versus isopropyl alcohol? Um, you can move the um, alloys the, and the mixatives with just isopropyl alcohol. Uh, where is it? Um, I have to say Okay, so like this is a card that I made and I splattered with mm. rose alloy and a little bit is going to get on my finger because I didn't the I didn't uh, like it, there, it didn't set. So if you want it to, you know, not rub off, I mean, it's not going to rub off completely, but mm -hmm. just a little bit is going to get on my hands because I was using it to splatter and that's the alloy. Um, if you're using it to kind of move here, let me, let me grab one. Um, and you're wanting it to, um, kind of set, you're going to want to use a blending solution for, uh, pearls. You have to use blending solution. The pearls will not move with regular isopropyl alcohol. I hope that helps. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So I'm finding so myself I, wanting it to like dry, but I have like too much stuff. So do you ever like come in with paper towel and just like, or? Uh, no, I just kind of keep at it and, or let it sit for a second. I actually really like whoever whoever suggested Dijon with current. I'm really digging this together. Ooh, that looks amazing. This, this thing has a long way to go, but I can see it. Yeah. So I added current here to something that's already. So where would you add the isopropyl alcohol? Or would you even? Yeah, so I would then add it directly on top of the color. On the yellow or the or on the outside? Whatever drop you you added. I, okay. I can't remember what oh, you said. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it kind of pushes it out a little. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm trying to control this now. Oh, I'm really liking this. So it's like it's like little drops. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, it's like burnt orange. It's gorgeous. Ooh. I'm loving that. Okay, so let's do the same thing. Let that just kind of react. So it's kind of nice because it like reacts, it reactivates whatever's going on, which is kind of fun. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Yay! Is there anybody else, maybe someone's watching that has been intimidated and or just maybe just didn't know where to start with alcohol inks that maybe are going to give it a try now? I'd love yeah, to I would love to know what holds you back. Yeah. To me, it's just really been like, I, I don't know what I don't know. And it's been helpful to kind of do it together with you. Yeah. But I'm liking fun. the blend of the colors, though. That's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to stick gonna with the, it, Beth. <laughs> this tool so that um, you can hear me when I'm talking. <laughs> yeah, this is really, this is, I know I had to turn my, my computer kept bringing the volume down, which was not helpful. So I'm, I'm liking now, so now what I'm doing is I'm going into areas that I don't really like and then mm -hmm. adding more there and then playing with it. Yeah. That seems to be making me happier. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been playing with alcohol inks, Tiffany? Ooh, um... 
Uh, I want. I know for sure at least three years. Um, and I go through stages of like really, like, on uh, like loving a certain medium and just doing that medium like constantly until I'm tired of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, and sometimes I think because, I mean, this goes to something that maybe some people don't struggle with, but I think for me being that I, you know, create content for YouTube, Instagram, that sort of thing. I think mm -hmm. I've really found myself because you obviously want to be, you know, have um, variety for people or whatever, but I, I think sometimes it's okay to love something till it makes you sick. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, I'm done, <laughs> you know, cause then, then you have a lot of practice with it. You kind of, you know, just, yeah. I don't know where I was going with that, but. No, I totally understand what you're saying. I'm like yeah. that with the gel plate. I, mm -hmm. I love, love playing with my gel plate. You guys, you guys know that on my channel. Um, so it's, and it's one of those things where I've been at that, working at that for, I think I bought, I got my gel plate after I bought the, my first alcohol inks. Just oh, saying. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, but, and it took a while to kind of get a handle on it, but now it's just relaxing. And I can see how this is just really relaxing. Mm -hmm. Um, and I want to do like the same thing over and over too, kind of like you until I'm sick of it. Yeah. <laughs> Which I, I just don't get sick of, sick of those things. Um, no, like no. I'll have, I'll have something like, obviously, like if, if there's a new distress color, obviously I'm yeah. wanting to use that, you know, then I'm back to sprays and then, you know, that sort of thing. But yeah, I'll always go back to things that I love. And alcohol ink is definitely one of those things that I just, I love playing with it. I love seeing it react and mm -hmm. um, just interesting. It's, I love the textures you can get. So um, maybe if you want to, I don't know how long you want it to go, um, but when, when we're kind of not near the end, but mm -hmm. um, we can pull uh, one of the ones that, we did earlier this didn't come mm -hmm. to anything but i can show different ways to add different textures and kind of like um, let's do that yeah yep yep i think i'm i think i'm kind of liking this the way it is um no i, I love it needs, that it needs a little work over here but um i'm kind of i i feel after playing with this for about an hour quite honestly guys and thank you so much everybody for we're not ending <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, Karen, better late than never. <laughs> Karen Kreider saying better late than never. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things where I'm actually now it took me a full hour of playing with this. Mm -hmm. Now I'm really understanding how the isopropyl alcohol moves. I'm understanding yeah. how, you know, what if I drop something here, what the repercussions of that are. And now I'm actually in my head, all I can think about is I want to make a landscape in some way. Mm -hmm. So Ooh. it's like, I'm now even just thinking, okay, if I move it this way, I can control this. If I do this, I'm understanding now the other tool, the worth of it and why I like this tool also. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I want to learn how to do something else. So please teach us. Yep. <laughs> Yep. I'm just going to get a little spot maybe that I like a little bit better than I can use Go it. Go for it. Yeah. I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, if you're wanting to finish that, I wouldn't, I would move, do a different piece. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done with it actually. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to clean up one spot. Cause you don't want to screw it up. with anything. Yeah. I'm afraid of save doing it, that. Save right it for now. later. Yeah. That looks amazing. And see, yeah. I used a different color that I wasn't confident with that Dijon mm -hmm. and you know it didn't yeah, turn out sweet. how I liked but I'm going to show you how to add um so the first way I think is um uh, I mean where's my little notes here I have notes is so, there an official name for the puffer <laughs> I call it 
a it's like a, a, a boogie sucker like a booger sucker <laughs> baby booger sucker on steroids <laughs> that's what i call it i don't know if there's it, a, uh, actual it's funny because it. originally i was like well i have the old stampin up air thingamajigger that you i don't know if anybody in the in the audience remembers the old marker thing that stampin up had where you would squeeze and it would blow the ink off the markers but this is like mm -hmm. way better than that yeah Yeah. I've even done where I was like, oh, I don't like the colors or how the, the background turned out. And I just added a ton of isopropyl alcohol all over and just moved the color around how I liked it. So there's definitely ways to kind of fix it if you're not or like start over mm -hmm. or, or kind of, you know, do that. But um, all right. So let's move to, to textures if you want, or like, let's you know, do that. Yes. Kind of please. adding different, different textures to it. So what I like to do is I like to have a little bubble wrap. So. Oh, got that. Sure. Yeah. Big bubble and or then, small bubble? Is it okay um, if it has paint on it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have your mat yeah so i just add a little bit of the isopropyl alcohol to my mat and of course you want to work a little fast but then you're going to stamp that bubble wrap into the isopropyl alcohol and then okay. kind of stamp it off because you don't want too much you don't want it to kind of completely change the look but then you're just going to stamp it on here and then we can get some cool textures that way oh Oh, this could be a great way to fix an area that you don't like. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. I think I probably did too much, but that's okay. And then we're probably going, no. <laughs> and because it's going to pick up some of that color, you're going to want to move it around if you don't want like the blue oh, okay. and the yellow or like whatever colors you're using. Yeah. Right. So. No, I'm actually okay with what it did. But it looks a little too perfect over here, so let's just move it a little. This is kind of fun. If you don't like it, you just add a little ISO, and uh, yeah. there you go. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, splatters. Oh, where's my splatter brush? I have a splatter brush. I don't have a fancy splatter brush. I have the official have Tim Holtz splatter brush somewhere. Let's see. I bought it probably like three or four years, three or four years ago, and it's just been sitting here somewhere. Oh well. <laughs> what else can I use to splatter with? A regular paintbrush? Yes. So I just use a, a regular paintbrush. Yep. Okay. And I typically I use the same one for alcohol inks. Um, yeah. So you're gonna just put a, again a little bit of the isopropyl alcohol, and then kind of soak it up on there and then just splatter oh oh look at that yeah well, that's a great way of adding texture especially to an area that everything's always better with splatter right everybody yes <laughs> there can never be too many splatters no in my opinion too many splatters. i know some people think so but oh, i love this yep Okay. I think also the splatter brush gives you a little bit um, more like bigger splatters, I think. Mm. Yeah. I wish I, I wish I could see mine, but I don't want to waste time. And then you can always add splatters with the actual alcohol ink as well. I was just thinking that. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So would you add, a, introduce a new color? Like, like, so I have a question. Mm -hmm. the mixatives that's not yep. something that just sits on top right oh alloys sit on top right alloys sit on top yes yes so can we splatter with an alloy yep but then but it's I like say done that till right? the very last yeah, yeah. exactly okay yeah. okay yeah I'm, I'm loving this too laura yeah. And then of course you, you have like the alcohol lift ink, which I absolutely love using. Um, but that's, 
for some another time. Got probably. that too. <laughs> Got that too. Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you can use stamps and stenciling with it and all sorts of different things. It's actually really fun. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be a little too much fun. So I'm now yeah. you're and making me realize that I can take my little brush with some ISO and get rid of this yep. little outline that I don't like. Yep. That's bugging me because I'm thinking this would actually be very pretty on a card mm -hmm. or that run through one of or, or run through one of those folders like you do cuz I bought a bunch of those. I had a bunch but I got a few too. I wanted to be prepared. I wasn't sure what we were doing today. <laughs> so you just got it all. I did. Well, not all, but I didn't buy pearls. I know everybody's probably mm. saying at home. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I, I am like liking on. this graphics paper, though, that you can kind of clean up some spots mm -hmm. easily. And of course, you can always go in and, you know, dab, like dot your paintbrush on there as well with mm -hmm. the alcohol ink or isopropyl alcohol. And then you can always use caps, like if you have a cap, to add circles maybe. Okay. So I have my cap from my water bottle. I'm just going to yep. take some isopropyl alcohol, kind of get that on there and then just kind of. I like this. This is like finishing touches, right? Yeah. Everybody? Yeah. That's kind of cool. It feels very organic too. Yeah, because it kind of blends out and just kind of, and then when you're adding like more splatters and different things like that, then it just kind of adds to all that texture. And I am obsessed with texture. So Me too. the more the better. <laughs> yeah, Tiffany and I can't get enough of texture. Same thing with Karen and I don't know, Laura, you too? Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. This Actually, is cool. with this, mm -hmm. I wasn't really loving this, but with the splatters and everything, and mm -hmm. I, I, I can see myself cutting this down for some cards now. So. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So if you guys, you know, are looking for that little tiny something, splat, everything is always better with splatter. But yeah. I, and and I completely agree with using the big piece because there's been some freedom here and not feeling constrained to something mm -hmm. that's cut. So it's almost like I'm not, I think the thing that I was coming up against as a brand new, being brand new to this was I felt like I had to cover the whole thing and I didn't really fully grasp that we were literally only working on a corner. A little piece. Yeah. I did the yeah. whole bottom of mine, but yeah, you can work on a little corner Gotcha. And, you know, work on each in each corner. And then you kind of have, again, that freedom, like you said, to move it where you want it and not feel mm -hmm. like, oh, no, I added too much. And then then your whole, you know, background. And uh, and again, there's so many different ways and so many different techniques. And, you know, it's just how I like to do it. I love the white space. So if yeah. that's the look that you want, then. Yeah. So can I ask a question here? Uh -huh. So like I have kind of like some harsh looks right here, um, which doesn't really feel like it flows with the rest of it. What would you suggest that I add to kind of fix this part? Here, I'll, I'll hold it up to the yeah. camera a little bit so that you can see it better. See how it's kind of, mm. this is all very organic. And then here I put some ISO and blew it in. So now I have this like weird little area here. So what, what would you recommend or what would you do? If it was me, then I would take, I would just add more splatters right there and then kind of break it up a little bit. Or you wouldn't happen to have felt, would you? Um, or like a paper towel or something. Is that like the old, the old Ranger rounds? Uh, no, that's, that's going to be just a regular spongy blending tool or blending no the little the little ones the ones for alcohol ink yeah yeah you can use one of those or a paper towel baby wipe that sort of thing 
paper towel paper towel i have <laughs> my yeah. baby wipe that yeah. believe it or not i don't have any baby wipes in the house <laughs> okay so so i would just take a little piece maybe like um do you like that can you see that so it kind of has uh -huh. like a little, i can little yep. and then you're going to want to take just a very little bit not not a lot at all or else it's going to screw it up <laughs> okay and then i would just lightly pounce it where you kind of want to break that up if that makes sense sure and then if it's not breaking up, then you need to just add a little bit more isopropyl alcohol. Oh, someone's suggesting to use the bubble wrap again, maybe. Yes, you can use, Belinda, I've learned that you can use anything over 91% isopropyl alcohol. Because I had 70% in the house and she said that wasn't going to work. <laughs> so I think... What I'm going to do, with, I'm going to try a, a big piece of bubble wrap. Let's try that. Ooh, yeah. Maybe some big ones. If I can remember which ones I dipped in here. There we go. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. All right. There's another one that doesn't have any in here. Of course, I have to remember which one I dipped in. <laughs> or maybe like crumpled plastic. Would that work too? Oh, yeah. Yep. Crumpled plastic. Um... This is a reason yeah. to keep all these things. Okay, yeah. okay, ladies and gentlemen, keep all your, every single piece of plastic that you get. <laughs> <laughs> totally kidding, totally kidding. But I like this because it's got the wrinkles and stuff. So now this is yeah. adding a different texture. Gives okay. more, yeah, more I'm liking this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna have fun playing with this on a gel plate. I can already see. Yeah. I can already tell. I haven't used my alcohol inks on the gel plate, so. We should definitely do that one day. Yeah. It's interesting. Some of the paint from my um, bubble wrap transferred over. Mm hmm Okay. I like that. This is great. Yep. All right. Then the last step is to add uh, like a metallic splatter if you want. But alloy, I I used to use um, uh, I can't remember whatever gold mixative, um, mm -hmm. but it would still kind of spread out just a little bit, and it wouldn't get like good splatters. And then mm -hmm. when the alloys came out, I use for a gold. I like the statue. And, I have that. Mm -hmm. And then the new one, uh, the rose. It rose alloy is probably my favorite right now but i like that so you're yeah you want to there's a ball inside there to get that all of that going <laughs> mixed in there i actually on mine i might actually use foundry that's the only one i don't have <laughs> So boundary is, is, is like slate, I think. Oh, yeah. Did See, I love platinum. Platinum is like one of my favorite metals. Ster um, sterling? I have, oh, I do have foundry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is really sad. This is really sad. Don't tell <laughs> Michael, anybody. Nobody tell Michael. <laughs> Man, mine is not mixing up here. Come on. Maybe it's I'm like so wrong. tempted to put, I'm so tempted to put more color down, but I'm going to resist, right? Okay. You can always work on so, the opposite side if later. So tell me what to do with these now. Okay. Mine isn't mixing for some reason. My, I think I need to work on it a little bit more. Okay. So what you're going to do is if you win the ball. Yeah. All right. There's mine. Okay. You're just going to stick a little bit onto mm -hmm. your 
work surface, so like a like glass non porous mount. surface. Yeah. And then we're just gonna splatter. Ooh. But it's make like sure liquid. that you're paint it's like uh huh. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say that make sure your paintbrush is clean. Yeah. Or else you're gonna have um color mixed in, which isn't a big deal, yeah. but yeah. Okay. So and then just splatter like normal. Yep. Okay. It's literally like liquid metal. Yeah. It's so it's, pretty. It's amazing. Yeah. And this is just if gonna were, sit on top. Yeah. Okay. So if I were to dip my hand in this, it's like I'd become the Tin Man. Yeah. So pretty. And then what I also like to do is take the um, the cap, cap and then make circles with it. Okay. Just little ones. I need to clean my cap though first. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Just adding. I mean, and you can go, you can do as little, as much as you want. It's kind of that, that thing where it's your, your piece and... Do what you want to it. It's your oh my creative. gosh, it's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, the alloys are stunning. They're they're really pretty. I feel like I didn't add enough alloy to my glass mat. Oh, I wow. I have a ton of these little splatters, so I'm actually going to just take a paper towel with some isopropyl alcohol and get rid of them. So. How would, is there another way to use alloy? Can you use it just like you would these other colors too? Yeah, you can. Like, it, mm -hmm. You just don't usually. I usually don't, no. I just typically use it. I mean, sometimes I'll add a little bit here and there, but like in with it, but mm -hmm. no. Typically I, I don't normally. I like my, the colors to be colors and then the, the, uh, metallic to kind of just be that uh, that pretty accent. I love this. Okay, anybody anybody watching mine or on Tiffany's have a suggestion for anything that they feel I need to do or add somewhere? Oops, I moved mine. It's too big. Is there a way to? I by Ooh. accident moved the cap. That sucks. And that's what happens. You get to the end and you make a mistake. <laughs> that might be, if you're making a card, that might be where your sentiment goes. This is true. This is true. So I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to kind of, kind of make little dots so that it doesn't feel so disjointed here. There we go. It's kind of interesting. I could kind of paint, actually, literally paint with this. I can't believe I did that. Oh. <laughs> no mistakes. Yes, Carmen, opportunities. <laughs> yes. I'm um, really excited to see what you do with them because you're more artsy. Like, you love to paint landscapes and that sort of thing, and I could totally see you doing that. This was way cool. Yeah, I'm really loving this. And I actually really love this first one. No, yours. Now that, yours now that it's amazing, all dry. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. I could see this being like a card of some kind or, or a tag or, or, or a coaster. Yeah, <laughs> that would be very, that'd cool. be really pretty. Yeah. I am going to play someday. I am. You're right. There are no mistakes in art. Karen, you know what we're doing? We're taking the work out of artwork so that we can have fun with the art. <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm excited to make coasters like on tile and other coasters that I can actually seal myself and add to. Because I really love these lightweight coasters. They're a lot of fun. So, yeah. That's cool. All right. Is there Anything any questions? Yeah, yep. anybody have any questions that they want answered from the pro and yeah. the newbie? <laughs> I don't I don't have any questions on this side. 
No, it might be a, it, it'll take probably a second because it's very delayed. But did you, are you mm. feeling comfortable and are you excited to play with them a little bit more? I am actually really excited to play with these more. I'm really bummed that I made that big mistake, but that's okay. Um, I have one question of who the inks are by. We used inks by Ranger. They're um, alcohol inks. Uh, Tim Holtz is alcohol inks. And uh, I know that there are a lot of other companies. There's Bria Reese. There's a pinata, I think, has alcohol inks. You can use Copic alcohol inks, right? Yep. I have a, a great way to use of, your refills. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I actually have a ton of those. Yep. Well, I have the old ones. I know that they changed their thing, but yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, so Daryl and I hope I said that right. Um, says there's probably a lot of us who tried them and put them aside. So thanks for getting, getting us to get them back out. I encourage you guys to all get those back out because I'm just getting started. <laughs> I'm excited yeah. to see what you come up with. Um, Belinda does have a question. There's not mm -hmm. a more, per she wants to know if there's a more permanence with blending solution. I'm sorry. There's not a more permanence with blending solution with fixative over the alcohol. So I'm thinking you're asking how to seal it. Is that right, Belinda? Because if you are, um, from what I know, is it's going to require a spray or yeah. resin or resin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and for my cards, like, I know this sounds really bad, but I typically don't send my cards. So, I mean, and even then, like, a little bit of, you know, I might just take a paper towel and rub it over if I were to send the card just to make sure, like, if I were to use the alloy as splatters to make sure it's not transferring um mm. but if you want you can seal it um with like a spray sealant or something like that um or but if you do use it like in like if you're using the alloy with um the the colors you can use uh the blending solution and that will that will um not seal it but like set set it because it has that resin in it so that will do that for you. But for splatters, you don't want to use blending solution for splatters. So yeah, yep. I hope that helps. Is... And someone's asking, do you seal your coasters? Um, I do. Yes, I use, um, <clears throat> make sure this is closed so it doesn't just dump out over my project. Uh, polycrylic protective finish. I have a video that I did just not too long ago. Um, everything's linked in there. Uh, because I get them at Home Depot. So, and I like, actually that one was clear satin, but I, this is actually, believe it or not, the matte. And <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of glossy. <laughs> so. Someone's asking, have you ever tried black craft graphics plastic for alcohol inks? I did get a, a few pieces. I've tried it, um, but I just prefer white. I did get the, um, mm black alcohol ink cardstock um from ranger i don't know how that's gonna work i'm cur i'm i'm excited to use it actually to see how it's gonna work with the alcohol inks because it's cardstock but i haven't tried okay. it yet so B belinda is clarifying her question she was wondering if the blending solution is a permanent than just plain alcohol not necessarily seal it if that's the difference between using iso and uh the blending solution with an alloy or like in just general? No, I just think in general with the inks. Oh, the inks, they're there. They're they are not moving. So yeah. in, unless you add something to reactivate it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. of course, again, if you're, if you're sending a card, then it's fine. But if you're wanting, you know, to uh, frame it, put it like as a art piece or whatever, then of course you're gonna want to seal it probably. And what about distress glaze? Kathleen's asking that. Would that no. seal it? Mm -hmm. No. No. Because it the the um, craft plastic is plastic, so the the, the I tried it actually. Um, the <laughs> distress glaze isn't going to set. It'll just stay right on top, and it'll just it'll just be there. 
Yeah. That's awesome. Belinda, yeah. Belinda says that she said, thank you. And uh, this has made her ready to give this another try. So that makes me Yay. very excited. Yeah. Yep. If I can do this, you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And who knows, you, 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 uh, Ingrid might become the pro and she'll be having all sorts of videos on her channel. Maybe <laughs> this is just the beginning. I, I guarantee you, if you guys could see how many different inks I have, it's insane. So Tiffany, if I can just let you all know, Tiffany has an insane amount of really, really great tutorials. I have it linked in my description. She has it linked in her description. We'll both pop a way, uh, list here up at the end so that you can click and watch those mm -hmm. um, to just keep playing. And some of them are live, some of them are short. Yeah. Thank you so yep. much, Tiffany. This was incredible. You're very welcome. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I'm glad that I was the one to get you to help you uh, open up those bottles. Yep. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. Everybody have a great day. Have fun playing. Break out those alcohol inks. <laughs> yep. See y'all. Bye. Bye. Leave a comment. <laughs>